Hi, my name is Isabel. I'm a portrait designer. I switched from ConvertKit to MailerLite, and for more reviews like this, click the link below. The business problem that I'm addressing with um, MailerLite, uh, and I was addressing with ConvertKit, was just uh, emailing um, all my clients to let them know when things were, uh, you know, specials were coming up or when, um, you know, creative projects had just happened or just to show people like, look, here's a brand new type of portrait that I created and you can have one of these too. Um, and I would just go out to all my wonderful clients and then they would be up to date with whatever was going on with my business. MailerLite was just really great for me with its automation. I can have someone subscribe to a certain list and then they can get uh, certain emails and if they don't open something, then I can send them a different type of email. So maybe if they open that one, then they're not missing some information that I sent in a previous one. Um, and then I can also uh, divide people up according to, um, I had one where people could take like a personality test. And so, um, so then I would have four different types of emails that could go out and then they could automate it again based on if they open things or didn't open things. And, um, and it would just, go out to all these different people. So it was kind of like, it's kind of like block coding. It's pretty simple to do. Um, and uh, I ended up discovering that I really needed that feature of MailerLite, um, just above and beyond what it was that uh, ConvertKit was offering. Um, and it was so easy to use that I just ended up sticking to it. But ConvertKit, I felt was really, really great if you're a writer. And I don't enjoy writing. Um, my background's in science. I do this art type stuff, so I guess I'm more visual and I'm more technical. And the writing has always felt like a pain to me. Um, I, but I felt like they really, really had some really awesome tools for telling a story. I just ended up finding other ways um, to kind of tell those stories about my clients that, um, that just works better with me um, Mail or light, uh, but I, I did really like ConvertKit for if you were a writer. I mean, I know I know a lot of people who are in that writing world, or they do a lot of coaching, or um, they teach a lot of things. And I think for those type of people, ConvertKit is truly the best for them. ConvertKit might actually be a little bit easier to get started with. Um, it's definitely made for that writer type brain where they don't want to get too technical and um, it has it has prettier you know uh, templates for, for making you know the, the beautiful uh, artistic writing that you're doing and everything like that. Um, Mailer Light, uh, if you're not used to I guess kind of the block type coding, it's very simple coding. It's kind of like you just select, hey, I want this to do this, and you drag and drop something over here. Uh, then um, MailerLite takes a little bit longer to learn just because you've got to learn all of those types of things. Uh, but when you do get it, <laughs> then you start flowing pretty simply. And, and they do have things to help you with that. And, uh, and ConvertKit, I, I felt like, was, was actually just a little bit easier to plug and play and go. When I'm considering uh, any type of software that's going to be you know, mailing out things to my clients, I want to make sure that um, everything looks very nice when it gets sent out, like I'm not having issues with pictures not showing up because they're too big for certain people's mailboxes or anything like that. Um, then I'm also worried about um, automation because uh, I discovered that was really <laughs> the best way for me. Um, and then I guess probably like the ease of use because I don't enjoy writing. I don't um, really enjoy sending out these emails, but I know that I have to do it. So if I can sort of get my stuff just set up, I, I don't do fantastically beautiful mailers or anything like that. Um, so I just want it to be easy where I can, here's my header, here's my logo, here's the picture, here's a space where I can talk about it, and then here's something where I can easily link to people. That's, that's really what I'm worried about. And then the automation is kind of like this backside of my business and MailerLite has made that super easy for me.